Shrek. Today we are transforming this Walmart cake into Shrek. Uh, I love this. Leave your cartoon cake ideas down below and let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Mike Myers and today we are turning a Walmart cake into Shrek. I just watched it on Netflix and I think there's gonna be a reboot because they're doing Puss in Boots and hopefully they stick to that animation because it looks really cool. I've seen a bunch of Walmart transformation cakes on Instagram and I thought I'd give it a shot and just add some buttercream sculpting to it. Now we are creating Shrek today but I want this series to be completely subscriber based. Make sure you write a cartoon character in in the comments because I'm gonna pick one and turn it into a cake. This was really exciting so let's get started. Now I'm starting with a Walmart six inch birthday cake. I'm gonna trim the side so I can start to create Shrek shape. Then I'm going to smooth out the top of my cake. He's gonna need some eye sockets so I'm carving a little bit of cake away and then I'm going to start to shape where his smile is supposed to be. I think it's a little off though, but that's fine. One of the things that I really love about this series is that it makes my life so easy. I don't have to bake the cakes. I don't have to ice them. They've already got some sort of a crumb coat. I just do a little bit of sculpting and then just add some of that buttercream I took off back on. And then I add my next layer of buttercream. Now we got some ugly Shrek green going on. And honestly, I don't think this cake tastes good. <laughs> You've got a layer of Walmart buttercream and then I'm adding another layer of just like <laughs> super sweet buttercream too. <laughs> oh my God, diabetic should not eat this. <laughs> I covered my entire cake, then I started to outline all of his features. So this is where his nose and his mouth are. I'm gonna give him a brow bone and just start to smooth out all of my piping. I put my cake in the fridge for a little bit so that it could set up and then I started to smooth out more of his features. The buttercream had solidified a lot. So all of the features that I piped out held their shape and I was able to smooth it out more. I think these are dental tools. Stainless steel, they're perfect for carving. You can use them for whatever, but I'm pretty sure this was a dental kit when I bought it from Wish. <laughs> when I was happy with the shape that I created, it was time to use my silicone makeup applier. I love this thing. I just worked my makeup applier around the cape to give Shrek some smooth skin texture. Not too smooth because I still want to see some of that buttercream texture coming through, but I want you to see more of the details that I carved before. I I thought I would be kind of finished by this point, but after the surface of his skin was smooth, I started to see a lot more mistakes. So this went through another round of carving. After that, it was time to create some fondant pieces. There's a lot of texture in my buttercream and the smooth fondant makes this cake look really polished. So I'm using fondant to create two eyes. I'm also gonna be using some lime or Shrek green fondant to create his ears. These are gonna be sticking out on the side. So I'm gonna add some popsicle sticks to hold them in place. Now I added some white fondant for his eyes and then I'm using some more buttercream to create his eyelids. After I smoothed those out and created the perfect shape, I started to add more detail. A little bit of buttercream with a small makeup applier. I think these are for like eyelashes. It's really small and I was trying to figure out what it's used for and I think it's used to create the wing of your eyelash, I think. But I'm using it to create some fine hair texture for his eyebrows. Then I added some small brown pieces of fondant to create his eyes. And then I'm gonna use my wing brush as a paint brush so I can make his eyes look more realistic. After that, my cake transformation was complete. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Wow. <laughs> That's a Walmart cake, man. That's so funny. Decorating cakes is my thing. So the things that I really dread doing are baking the cakes, adding like the layer of icing in between, giving it the crumb coat, and then adding my final layer of buttercream. I got to skip most of those steps and just go straight to decorating. Make sure you write a cartoon character in the comments because I'm gonna pick one and turn it into a cake. When I decided to make some Walmart cake transformations, I wanted to test it out on several characters. So Shrek, Gengar, Genie, and Squidward. These are the first four transformation cakes and if you comment with their names in the description box, I will plaster them all over the next videos. Now I really hope that the rumors are true and they're going to reboot. I hope it's 
that's not a true reboot because I want to see Cameron Diaz and Mike Myers play those characters again. Now remember, let me know which animated character you'd like to see me create next. I should make Fiona. That'd be such a good idea. Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye.